Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Last time we got the death ending, which was brutal. We got crushed in between two giant motherfucker plates or something, I don't know. So we're gonna move right along into the next episode of the Stanley Even Parable. Now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? <laughs> he could no longer recall. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, God. Oh, uh, so many things from the last episode. That was weird, going into the like, big white room and seeing all that. God. When Stanley yeah, 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 go to the left. Doors, I don't got a lot of time this episode, so I'm going to try to make this one quicker. Be less painless for you guys, I know. Yet there was not a single Tips for not getting fired. There. Talk less. Do unbelievably... Well, God. To go unbelievably to amazing office, work. All, oh, okay. An answer there. Wait. Hold on. That door open? Yeah, that door open. Can I close it? Yes, I can. That was weird. Uh, we want to go Coming up. To a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. It was this way, okay. Oh. What was the code? 2845? Stepping office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't even have a minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. Oh, so okay. He relaxed for a few moments. Oh, really? Wage <laughs> music. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, can we just have this in the entire time? Please, Mr. The Narrator. This is nice. I feel my bones Being relaxing. And rejuvenated. Slightly, yes. Calmly walked forward into the opened passage. I still have to rush through this, but yes. All right. We are going to hit the button. And then we're going to load the game because Elevators. Okay, and we're back. And where are we Stanley going now? Okay, we want to go to the mind door, control facility. Mind control facility. There's a big button here with a whole bunch of shit. Hit the golden button. The oh, on an oh, it's this room. Oh, and this, screens. this is the fucking thing that. This place hold. Stanley thought to himself. Yeah. What is this evil, evil place with a whole bunch of screens? God, this feels really unsafe. Uh oh, button. The cameras. Now the monitors jump to life. Oh, that guy got fired. Uh 104 got Each fired. Oh no. Of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives no, no. of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Yeah. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh god, no. Freedom is everything in America. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it mm -hmm. couldn't be true. No, it Had can't. Has Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Maybe. Was Maybe it was like Odd World. Was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yeah, that's what mind control is, dummy. No, he refused to believe it. No! Couldn't accept it. His own Sorry. life in someone else's control? No. Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was yeah. It impossible? Maybe. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Uh, yeah, pretty much. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it huh. monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Oh. For he would dismantle the controls. Alright, so we gotta turn off the mind control facility. Turn off. Okay. Alright, okay. Awaiting input. Alright, there's. Oh god, tell me there's an on and an off. There is a fucking on and off. Oh god, no. I ha. Oh god, oh. I, I don't, 
I don't know. Next time on the Stanley Parable, uh, on or off. We're gonna go. I said I would follow the narrator. I'm actually gonna hit on. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? No. I'm hitting off. Slave, See? I'm hitting off. I'm hitting off. Try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? No. Control? No. No, I didn't. Oh, Stanley. No. Uh, get out of this room. Effort, I really do. But you need to I don't hear you clapping. There's only so much that machine can do. You no. Supposed to let it go. No. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. Oh. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Excuse me? The that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. What? What kind of office, office building is this? How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more ah, fun. Isn't it, Jesus Christ! Giant it's clock. Oh God. Shine. Uh. You star. It's your star. Yellow button. Shaped Yellow button. Your heart's desires. Yeah, incorrect. Two. Uh. Mind. What a shame two. So little time left oh, wait, there's the one. I probably had the, the one first. One. The goes off. But two. Each one of them is. Uh, there's a more three somewhere around here, right? About me. Go 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 go! What all this means? I barely know where to hey. start. Uh, go up here. I'm glad to know where your co-workers are. A moment yeah, of silence yeah, I... before you're obliterated. Huh? <laughs> all right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. Oh, thanks, I'll Mr. Narrator. What happened to them? Four. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Oh. Because that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes <laughs> when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Oh, thanks. Other times, <laughs> I let the office Five. sink into the ground. Is there a six? everyone inside, or I let it uh, burn to a crisp. Okay. I say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. No. Nope. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back uh. the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. Well, but it's I'm gonna sure go. Whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Come on, man! My goodness, only 34 seconds left. <laughs> but I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Oh, oh, That's how generous. Those additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. It's red. It's fucking red, man. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Kind of! Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Probably. Oh, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every... Fuck you, man! Room. You don't know me! These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Is a big red button? Everything, oh! Anything. Something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this Red game button. One solved. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? Yeah, God. <laughs> Stanley. Oh God, minute. You're in for oh the my God, minute. But here's oh the spoiler Jesus. You. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. <laughs> it's it's doing a pretty good job. Way to your death. Oh you're only God. Still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. <laughs> oh, you how nice, humble. prick. This is not a challenge. Green X. Yellow X. To green. World, red. That's fine. Oh. Oh. So you can't. Oh. Okay. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. Oh, 30 God. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. You no serious? Idea. You fuck you. you fuck it. No, you, you piece of shit. Five. Another choice. Make it count. Oh, don't. It's all the same to me. Uh, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I've okay. got every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment we uh, say, Oh, God. Oh. And I am dead. Excellent. That was quick and painless, I will agree. I didn't realize a nuclear explosion would be that instant without hearing a small little hiss or something. That was a very calm explosion, too. Uh... 
Well, okay then. I'm gonna assume that's the intense ending. <laughs> this is quite intense. I was nearly shitting myself. But wow, never again will I go that way, ever. I'm just gonna crouch into my table and hide. Maybe it was just like a bad dream. Can I can I get up here? Can I just stand on my desk and just like poop in a corner? I cannot. Okay. Well, with that said. Uh, next time on the Daily Parable, we don't die, probably. I'll see you guys next time.